technique, header and footer. Maybe a, a different header for even pages, a different header for odd pages. Then that chapter and all its pages will have to be in a section of its own so that it can be formatted independent of other pages. Here's how it works. If the book has already been created and you've chosen to do this after the fact rather than as you go along, then you would need to go to the page where you want there to be a, a section. Now I'm on the sample page called First Chapter Begins and it's at this page that I want to include a section break. Now to do that you'll go to the page layout ribbon which is where I am now and in the page setup group you have an option for breaks. It's a very small button. Breaks, when you click the down arrow you have two categories of breaks. You have one for page breaks which uh, the option just beneath would just give me a standard page break and that page would just go on into the same section that I came from. But what you need is under section breaks. You have several choices here. One for next page. Now if I choose that one, the page I'm on, its contents are going to a new page, but within that page it would become a new section. But what we need is continuous. I'm on a page that I do not want to break into a separate page. I just want to, to specify that this page and pages that follow be in its own section. That way, see, I'll be able to have unique headers and footers for just that section. And in my case, in this sample, I need continuous. Now, you don't see anything happen on the screen unless uh, what's, uh, what's going to keep you up to date with well, you know, where you are on sections and pages is your status bar at the bottom. The word status bar is the gray bar just up above your Windows status bar. And it will tell you in the lower left what section you're on 